Testing, testing. One, two, three. Am I live? <laughs> Anybody a response here to tell me that I'm live? Yes. <laughs> I think I'm live. Okay, good, good. All right. Who are here? Let's wait for some of my friends to be here. Wow, we are ready for today's topic on the here, here. Yeah. Personalized Pazi calendar. It's based on the topic of date selection. So for friends who didn't purchase this, you will still stand to benefit to learn from today's session. So who is around? Come, just pop in, say hi. I need to see you. Where are you? Okay, we're well, waiting for some of our friends. I'm also quite a while been doing this Facebook already. So I need to know. I can live. Okay, good, good. Okay, All good. right. Who are so quite a while? Now, now, let's see. Who's here? Pop in. Say hi to me. So that I know that you are around. <laughs> okay. Hey, we have some friends here. Hi, Bernard. Hi, Margaret. Okay. So, hey. It's always good to make this session an interactive ones so that this becomes a, a lively session, okay? Where energy can exchange, okay? Hi, Martin. All right. So drop me some love, some likes along the way. And today's topic, today's topic is going to be about date selection. And there are many, many ways for date selection. There are tons spoil for choice ways for date selection. So uh, a lot of friends will ask, hey, which method is the most powerful method? Uh, well, my answers to you will be the one that you are best at, the one that you are having the most affinity to encounter on, to meet, to master, to apply with the highest positive hit rates is your best tool. But your best tool may not be the, the other person's best tool for them to learn. So different people will have different exposure, different experience, different belief system, <clears throat> and different encounters on any tools for the selection. So you choose what best fits you is the, is the answer. Okay, Because I've been using different methods and at different phase in my life, I realized that the one that I apply the most that, has, that sits most close to my heart usually has the best hit rates accuracy. So choose the one that fits your dish, okay, your cup of tea. So there are many ways for date selection. Okay? Some people use us from a bar perspective. Some people use us from a uh, eating perspective. Some people use it from a zui toshu perspective. Some people use it from a da perspective. Some people use it from a qi men dun jia perspective. So there are many, many different ways to actually see uh, how to choose a date. Okay, and there are many, many, no, Chinese metaphysics has been there for like <laughs> more than many hundreds of years. Uh, and it went through so much of the revolutions of mankind, civilizations of mankind in different dynasties, up and down of mankind. So it we went through many different phases of uh, human intellectual maturity also. So that's why you will see many different topics surrounding date selection. Okay. Eh, how to see your comments? Uh? I can't. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, now for today, my primary approach will be using uh, the traditional method in conjunction with the auxiliary stars or more commonly known as the shen sha, okay, uh, the deities and the sha, <clears throat> okay. So it is very important, okay, very important for one to know who, what is this all about at the background as an introduction, so that when you start learning or applying, you have this in the mindset, you would be asking higher level questions, okay, and not get lost at the which method is the best method. Okay, the method that fits you is the best method. Okay, all right. So, um, can you hear me clearly? Type a yes if you can hear me clearly. Just to be sure. Type a yes if you can hear me clearly. And drop some love, likes, everything. Yeah, okay. So that I know that it's all good and clear for me before I proceed. Okay, good. So now, um, in date selection, 
one thing that needs to be fundamentally sitting right is this. As I've said it in my telegram, I'm going to say it today here. Everybody will have their goals, their objective, their intention. Okay. If you do not know what is your goal or intention, whatever that you are doing in life, you will just be moving along, following along. Okay. So if you know what is it that you want, then the next thing is really everybody knows is to take action. And being taking action, sometimes people ask what action to take. That means you need to find out. But some people know what to do and they are taking effective actions to keep going. And for one to be able to succeed is always about massive action. Massive action means keep doing, keep doing and do it in a way that you learn from the previous lessons and you keep doing, you have to be in the game to play the game, to be able to win the game. If you are out of the game, there's no game for you to play how to win the game. So it's always about continuously engaging in your actions, make today a better version of yesterday, make tomorrow a better version of today, keep doing actions, keep trying, keep trying. And because through the trying, you will have mistakes, you have experience, you will know where it goes wrong, you will learn and you become smarter the next move. It's never a one time and you hit it usually. Many successful people in life, they have encountered so many mistakes along the way that forms part of their foundation, to their achievement. So that mindset has to be there. If you are one of those friends that think, hey, I'll try one time, hey, cannot make it, why, huh? And uh, then, then you are actually having the wrong mindset because let's put it this way, for you to get your promotion, is this just that one day's job that your boss loves you, that promotes you? Or is this just that series of many events of jobs? Some are good, some are bad, but net, net is an overall pretty good. That's why your boss promotes you across a period of observation, activities, mistakes, good results, everything, correct? So my point to you is, if you have an objective, you need to take action, continuous action, and end of the day, when you grasp the whole thing, it will be more plus than minus, ah, then you're on the right path, okay? It's never a one-time hit kind of stuff. If you're looking for a one-time hit, then that are more of a opportunistic looking for windfalls. Uh, that depends on your merit and your karma. All right. So with that mindset, then in this art of date selection, it's really, really more about having the right starting point, a positive starting point. It is akin to saying that you are doing an action. And if you do a date selection for that action, you are like planting the seed on a fertile soil. You are taking the action and plant the seed of the action on a fertile timing. Got it? When you're planting that seed of action on a fertile timing, you are able to have higher opportunity for a better growth for that seed to something bigger. But you still need tender, loving care, water, wind, sunlight, and fertilized soil to actually make the plant grow well to form a tree with the fruits. In a similar context, when you plant the seed of action in a fertile timing, you are actually doing continuous action after that. And with that, it will lead you towards the direction of what? Higher chance of winning. That is the whole secret recipe. <laughs> okay? The whole intent is really that. Have that mindset sit well, so that you are able, able to grasp the essence of date selection, okay? Because I've encountered many friends who do date selection. You know what they do? Oh, I do this on a good date. Nothing happened. <laughs> Again, that's the wrong sitting of the mindset, okay? I've told you. So if you missed that, uh, recap what I've just said. If you have the chance, replay what I've just said. <laughs> and then to make sure that you are sitting right for an effective date selection session. Okay. It's really as practical as that. All right. So now, are you ready for the topic on what are the tips and techniques for date selection? Type a yes if you are. Love, loving, tender care, love and like this video along the way so that I know that you are listening and do, do type in questions or anything that you want to ask 
along the way so that I know that you are also having questions because uh, if you don't ask, I assume all are good and I'll just carry on. <laughs> okay? Come, come. Love, like, yes, okay, ready. <clears throat> okay. And so that I can take this chance to drink coffee. Okay. Only Joe is ready. What about the rest? Ah, yes, good. Thank you, Pingli. Okay. Now, <clears throat> date selection. So in the school of date selection, there are two different, mainly two different approaches. The one approach is called the general date selection. That means that day you have these stars, so good or bad, there are good stars, there are bad stars, take it or leave it kind of stuff. So general, it applies to everybody, like it or not. So general date selection. <clears throat> then in terms of the Another aspect, we call it the personalized date selection. Personalized means it, it is taking reference to your birth chart information and you see what are the affiliated stars that you have special relationship, special connection, special affiliation on that particular moment or day or hour or time. So usually there are two aspects. The general one is the stars is there for the day. You can use it if you like the good stars. The other aspect, the stars are there for the day, but then on a personal aspect, are they affiliated to you? Is it more strong in presence on that particular moment? If yes, use it. Uh, so general and personalized. You must have this concept so that when you're applying date selection, you won't be like mong cha cha, blur and blur blur, and you sotong and you move. <laughs> okay. So now today, uh, for this date selection, okay, I will be covering some of the aspects based on the calendar for friends who have purchased. As I've said, for those friends who didn't purchase it. Through this whole context, you will also be able to learn. And if you can, you can also collect information on your own and you try to decipher for yourself, is this a good day for yourself too? Okay? So either way, you can learn. It's just having an open mindset. And then I'm here to share. So I'm here to, 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 to uh, teach what I know so that if, if that interests you, stay on. Okay? Now, ready. So hey, where's my mouse? I cannot see my mouse. Okay, yeah. So um, again, you do not need to have this calendar to be relevant for this session. You can still learn even if you didn't purchase. Okay. Now, for a date selection, okay, usually we take reference to this session is mainly based on the bar zhi chart. Based on the bar zhi chart. Okay. So let me turn on my... Screen. Can you see my screen? Hope you can. Yes, pop up already. Okay, so personalized parts, okay? Now, if you didn't purchase, you can still learn, okay? I keep emphasizing that. Okay, now, so if you have purchased this, you will actually get this, okay? You actually get this. This is based on, let's say, a part, a typical person's part, okay? A typical person's part. So for a typical person's part, right, there's always this hour, there's always this thing called the 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 hour. Wait, my pen color cannot make it. Uh, wait, uh. You have this thing called the hour, the day. A what happened to Ah, okay. Now oh, to, 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 okay. Okay, the hour, the day, the month, and the year. Okay, you always have this thing, the hour, the day, the month, and the year. So now for this to happen, right? You you for a person starts, you usually have this information: hour, day, month, and year. 
So now, this is an example only, okay, an example. So when you're looking at a party for a date selection, usually you will always look at that day, what stars are there, okay? So you have to know generally, generally, you have to know, let's say this is a January chart, right? That uh, the 3rd of January is actually a Ren Zi Man on a Sing Yu day. Ren Zi Man on a Sing Yu day. <laughs> Whether you have this calendar, you don't have this calendar, you should know this. <laughs> you need to know this so that you are able to proceed uh, doing date selection. So now, let's say today is actually the 7th. 7th of January is actually the Kui Chou month, month in the Yi Chou Wood Ox Day Pillar. Month Pillar and Day Pillar. So you need to know in a date selection, okay, that these are the pillars down there, okay. And usually when you are doing a date selection, traditionally, people will always look at these few things we call the black rabbit and the yellow path, okay? Now, I have went through literally like many weeks in my telegram going through with you the essence, the importance, what, what, is, what are the black rabbit, what are the yellow path? So a long story short for today's session, yellow path, there are 10 different stars usually running around. Uh, the hook, the dragon, the bright hall, punish, uh, the phoenix, the golok, the light, the tiger, uh, the jade hawk, uh, and the jewel tortoise, all these stars will be there, okay? So now, these yellow path stars are explained uh, in my telegram, okay? Just go there, take a look, listen through each of these stars, what it means, and usually, Half of them are good, half of them are not good. So each of these stars usually means on that day, you should be doing what or you should be avoiding the strength of the negative stars and do not do that. So do the positive if the star is positive or avoid doing the strength of the negative star so that you are avoiding your erring on the better side and then you are then moving ahead on the positive favorable side by doing the good or avoiding the unfavorable. Okay, that's for the yellow path. For the black rabbit, very simple. If that day, if that day you see a sun, a sun, okay, let's say on the 4th of January, you got a Sunday, sun, sun, S-U-N, okay? Uh, these Sundays are very good to mitigate, for you to mitigate. Uh, usually people like to do activities on a Sunday. They okay? like to do activities on a Sunday, S-U-N, okay? Reason because it has a very strong mitigating effect that can make the good stars better, make the any negating stars present in the day uh, mitigating its negative effect. Okay, so a Sunday is usually very preferred. That's why you see a lot of people doing activities uh, on a Sunday, Tai Yong Yat. Uh, uh, like opening uh, groundbreaking uh, or 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 uh, doing uh, maybe launching uh, or trying to do feng shui activities uh, or kind of stuff uh, then the Sundays are good because if you do wrongly it has a mitigating effect if the negative stuff are there mitigating effect if the positive stuff are there enhancing effect so good or better lo. okay <laughs> now you got it got it okay it's very important okay for sun, for one to be able to identify, so that when you are choosing a particular day and there's a Sunday, ayah, then you you call it tandil Okay, you you earn extra. <laughs> okay, now the other aspect that is still just as good is actually called the moon day. Moon day according to the black rabbit tradition. So that's why I put it down in this calendar in this version, which was not in the previous version because uh time is right. I've I've shared many things in my telegram on this Kam U Okay. Why is it called Kam U Go and listen to my telegram. Scroll back up. Okay. So now that's why usually the Sundays, if not the moon days, are the ones which are good. And in and if you know how to find it, go and find it. If you are lazy, 
and you want to know when are those, you can consider having the calendar. Then it's all set down there so that you have a, a, an idea. Oh, today is a Sunday. Oh, today is a moon day. At least you got a plus. Okay, then you know what to do. So that's for the Black Rabbit. There are many other usages, but then I keep it simple for you. Look for the sun or the moon. <laughs> okay, got it? Type a yes if you know what I'm talking. Okay, type a yes if you know what I'm talking. This is the traditional method for a yellow black path. Okay, this is a traditional method for a yellow black path. <clears throat> because even the 12th day officer is this yellow black path, they are major stars. These are all the major stars. Now, in the 12th day officer, they are called the secondary stars, okay? <laughs> Not the major secondary stars. So when you look for traditional approach, it's always this one first, then this one, then this one. Okay. So usually when you are talking about date selection, you must have a purpose as date selected. Then these three are usually called the additional. These three, okay. These three approach are usually called the additional reference point so that if you are able to look at this tree, you have a better idea that day you got more support preferred or you are further put down not preferred. Okay. So look at this tree and take it as an additional uh, 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 seasoning uh, toppings to your recipe. Okay. Now, when you are doing a date selection, anybody, everybody, usually we also look at for me, okay, I put emphasis on this thing called the Tong Kong, Tong Kong date selection. It is because it's quite important, at least to me. Okay, Tong Kong, Tong Uncle Tong, last time he actually collected a lot of data in the past based on the different days. And with that different days, he looked at the stem and the branch for the day in that month. And he looked at effects of people doing activities on that stem branch day in that month and collected and compiled. And end of the day, he has even like, for example, water snake in the ox month and fire snake in the ox month. Both are snake days, uh, but you end up different impact. And for different months, the child months, you got all the different pillars for the day, you end up, there's a compilation. So Tong Kong actually come up with a compilation of which are the good days, preferred days, not good days based on that aspect. Okay. So there are many, many hundreds of permutations on that. So down here, I put it simple for you. If you see a pink, mm, it's good. If you see a no color here, it's neutral. If you see a gray, uh, not so good. If you see a dark gray, very not good. If you see a red, very good. There's only five, okay? Red, pink, neutral, gray, dark gray. So gray and dark gray means not preferred, la, negating. La. Pink, good. Red, even better. Okay, this one, neutral. Then you also have an additional reference on whether is this day good or not. So for friends who didn't purchase, you can actually go and do your research on which... What is the strength for the Tong Kong for the day? Okay, I believe a lot of you who are not beginners here, you have your ways. Okay, so take this reference because Tong Kong, I've, I personally find it quite accurate. Okay, and, and quite impactful. That is, that is an impact. So that's why I usually also take reference to Tong Kong. Okay, now I also put down here Yang Kong days. Yang Kong days are primarily activities related to your Luo Pan. So if you are using the Luo Pan, no, it's Luo Pan, right? The one, the, the one with a template on top with a needle in the middle, uh, where you use for uh, qi tapping, environmental reading, uh, time space reading, feng shui reading, uh, yeah, uh, feng shui activations, which are also maybe Luo Pan related. Try to avoid the Yang Kong days. Okay, there are like 13 Yang Kong days in a year. So and it's based on lunar, yeah, and 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 usually I would 
not advise you to do activities that's about environment related feng shui or low pan related on the yang kong day so in this down here is indicated down here uh, you see a yg right yg yg on yg on the 10 so 10 of january 2023 10 of january is a yang kong day <laughs> good cut okay so that you know all right so now this one i've changed it last year i use a general breaker now i use a personalized breaker personalized breaker days means the day that's clashing clashing with you the day that's clashing with you so let's say for example you are actually having a personal breaker day and this personal breaker day falls on the 9th of january 2023 and this is actually known to be a rabbit a rabbit day fire rabbit day okay on the 9th and this person is actually born on the rooster year so if a rooster year and a rabbit day so it becomes very clear cut that uh, it's a clash uh, personally okay so that's why I actually put this as a personal breaker day based on the year so usually usually on this kind of days my suggestion is if you have a choice uh, doing things on a breaker day it will invite more fuzziness more dynamism and more uh, uh, more grey <clears throat> but if you are one of those friends who in your life you are very used to dynamism, dynamism is up and down, you are very used to um going through wei ji zhong you sang ji. Okay, through danger, you will discover opportunities. That's what I meant. Then if you are those people who are very gung-ho, the more you are fighting, the more you are tougher going. Uh, what don't kills you makes you stronger. Uh, then you can you use the breaker this. Uh. But if you are those that are weaker, hard one, I cannot take stress, please. <laughs> uh, then, then if that's the case for you, you then go and uh, don't use the breaker data, personal breaker. Okay? So it's very clear cut. Lah. So if you think you can tahan, talik, you can fight stronger, you can withstand, no problem. The stronger I fight, I become stronger, even stronger, you can then consider. But usually, most of the people, they wear a hat that's bigger than their head. They thought they can handle, they cannot. Then they blame, I, how come? It's like that. So you gauge whether you are the which version, okay? And then decide whether breaker days are good for you or not. Because it's really change and, and through change, you want to break some fundamentals, but it's going to be tiring. It, it needs stamina, it needs courage, it needs guts. If you have that, I totally support the idea go ahead if you lack that then play on the safer side don't choose personal breaker day so far okay type a yes if you're okay so far following through no if you're not you're lost yeah. yes or no <clears throat> so talk for how long have i been talking already yeah? oh half an hour okay okay <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so far learning. Huh? So these are the reference where if you can, go and, go, and, go and find yourself that day, what is the black rabbit star? What is the yellow black path star? And then for that day, uh, the 12-day officer. Lost, huh? lost. If you lost, then there's another simpler way. Okay, another simpler way to see is that day a good day or not, okay? So these are all the generic stars, okay? Generic stars that face a supporting role. If you are lost, I got a simpler method for you. Who is lost? I saw somebody lost, right? Ting Lo lost. <laughs> okay, now. If you like totally, eh, is there a simpler method? Yes, there is one simpler method. And the method is this calendar. This calendar, based on your pa zi, based on your pa zi, okay, this calendar based on your pa zi, you will end up this thing called a personal luck score. That score. And this score is important. It's based on the cosmos energy looking at your own personal chart. Now, this score is a personalized thing, really. Everybody will have a different score, okay? A different day. And this is by day. So you will know that for the month of January, I take a quick glance 
I would know that hey, this is actually my best day. Hey, this one, not bad, not bad, not bad. So these are the four good days for the month that are like 12 and above. <clears throat> hey, I got 11. Hey, I got a, a 10. Hey, I got a 9. So I would know that one, two, three, four, five, six. There are seven days in January for me, which are of high score. And high score days are very important. Usually, if you are planning, try to do the important stuff on a high score day. Now, when I say important stuff, it also comes down to experience. If you are proven good in that particular thing, uh, proven effective on that actions, your expertise, maybe you are good in presenting, you present on the day. If you are good in sales, you try to do sales on that day. If you are good in certain things, try to do that good thing on that day to help you move one step ahead in your life. So if you're confused with all the things I've just said for the last half an hour, very simple. The one single thing to do is you do what you are best at to move ahead one step by choosing the high score day. So on the 7th of January, on the 15th, on the 16th, on the 17th, on the 23rd, 24th, 27th, 29th, and 31st are for this person in this calendar, this person who have this part good in that month. So every month will be the same thing. So the next month having a lesser, first February having lesser high score, lah, but January, you will know that there are many high scores. So isn't that simpler? Okay. Now, isn't that way much simpler? Link, uh, Jing, you are lost just now, right? Now, this is a simpler way for you. So for those friends who, uh, can I have a simpler way to know? Yeah. High score days, do what you are best at proven. Uh, best at in the past on the high score day to help you in your current situation to move that one step ahead. Doubting. Okay. If you don't know all anything about Chinese method physics, what the hell is all this? Uh, then actually, I use this method for you. Okay. So, so that if you are not trained in Chinese method physics, don't worry. Do your best at the high score day. Got it or not? Got it or not? Oh, Chong here. Okay. Got it. Lah. Okay. Now, so this is one of the methods. Lah. Okay. Because this, this score are actually the days where based on your parts, the cosmos energy are most strongest with you. Okay. There are many complicated formulas inside and have went through fine tunings for more than three years on this. And apparently it sits pretty close to the highest heat rate so far, okay? So now, <clears throat> if upon choosing the high score date, then the rest will be easy for you, okay? So now, in this whole calendar, usually I separate it into a few parts. Number one, those stars, all the stars down here, all the stars down here are based on the self, your personal self, you, you, we, me, myself, you, yourself, and also aspects on the career and wealth, and also aspects on your social circle, because some to a lot of us, uh, our network is our net worth. If you don't know what I mean, live longer and you will know. <laughs> okay. So social circle is very important to many of us, okay? So if you're one of those friends, oh, yeah, I don't like to mix around, I like to do things myself, uh, then you try to live until 50 years old, then you tell me, is that being helpful or not? Long? Okay? Okay, so I separate it separate into three parts, okay? The self, the career wealth part, and the social circle. In this calendar, you will find there's this part called the back-facing direction. That means every day, every day, there will be this generic, generous task that says about back facing. For example, today is the seven, right? So on the seven, on the seven, I scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. I will be ending up seeing one thing that is today. Seven is down here. For nobility, back facing north, is good because the 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 chief star is actually at the north. So what you can do is sit down, turn until your back is facing north. Finish, okay, and do what you are best at. Uh, if you want to tap onto that that chief star, if you want to tap onto the chief star, then just back facing north, law. So with that, you are able to 
tap onto the chief star. Okay. Now, manifestation star is at northwest. Okay. And this manifestation star means if that day you want to, if that day is good uh, with high score, good with high score, you then try to use this manifestation because if you take a low score and you do manifestation, uh, the Wi Fi signal weak, uh, you easily got dropped off. Uh. There is signal power, okay. So then not, not so accurate, like not so power, uh, uh, signal strength, upload, download, not so strong. Uh. So manifestation is at Northwest for 7th of January. If that day the score is high for you. Now for the health star, that means if you're trying to do something that's about the improvement of your health, your well-being, then being able to tap onto Southwest for that day is good for you, especially so when you got a score that's pretty high. Okay. How high is your high? Don't care. You can take the whole month. Take the whole month. Maybe the whole month, everything is low. Then maybe eight is high enough. Maybe for next month, you take a whole month, then eight is a moderate. Maybe the then you take the top, maybe the top uh four, five days, which are the highest score. Those will be the high score for the month. Okay, there's no no such thing as which how high is good enough. As long as you look at the whole month, the top five is usually the highest is good enough for the month for you to use, use it. Okay. So now, so for health, be back facing southwest and you can actually do your, your rejuvenation, your rest uh, or your, your yoga or your rest, uh, your exercise, meditation, <coughs> recuperation, anything that's about health, well-being. Okay. Now, well start is actually at the west. For that day, the general well starts at where. So if that day the score is high, it's so much good that you are back facing, back facing west, okay. Or alternatively, all these are you can also be at in the small tai chi at that corner of the room also can. So if you think you are inner then at the west room, sit down there at the small tai chi, the small room, maybe your study room, your office, your conference room, be at the west sector, sit down and talk to your boss and you turn, 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 turn back facing west and then you talk, talk to your client about closure. Assuming you've prepared well for the proposing. Okay? Now, relationship starts are really like bonding, connections, relationship, whether with your boss, your wife, your girlfriend, your sibling, your parents, bonding, relationship star, uh, then back facing southeast. So every day, he has been told to you that what are the generic facing, uh, the stars for general. And if your score is considered the mid or the high, you can actually tap on this really. Okay? So, so, so that it becomes a way for you to know what direction to face. Uh, because everybody always asks, what direction to face? Co correct or not? Okay? And then, in this case, uh, then Bernard also asked the question, okay? So now, every day, I also choose to use the general nobleman hours. The general nobleman hours, okay? So that means that day, the nobleman hours, which on the highest, pretty much mid to high score, you can tap the direction. The hours will be down here. So for the 7th of January, for this case, today, 11, uh, <clears throat> it's actually like last night, 11 p.m. to the early morning today, 1 a.m. The next nobleman hours for today is 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Your country, your local time. Don't need to convert to what Beijing time or what U.S. time. Don't need. Your country, your local time. Okay. Don't need to convert. Don't know what, what is uh, your local time. Okay. Your lo local work, work clock. All right. So with that, then you're able to know already on that day, choose a high score one and do activity if you can. Uh, do it at 3 to 5 p.m. If it's about nobility, back facing north. If it's about wealth, back facing west. If you are engaging a customer to patch back some broken relationship or with your ex to try to patch it back uh, based on everything that we say in the morning, okay, your actions or intentions, and the whole mindset to be sitting right, then relationship style, you can tap onto the southeast in today's afternoon. Ah, so quickly make a phone call to somebody and do something, okay? okay? If your score is high, even better. If your score is not high, just grab whatever you can and you move, okay? 
if there's if there's no choice, then why bother so much? If there's a choice, then you choose, ma. Okay, all right. So these are all technically what is needed for a date selection. So in this calendar, everything is highlighted to you down here, down here. Okay. So end of the day, you will be able to choose for date selection. So far, you're learning, right? So first, whether you have this calendar, you don't have this calendar, you can use because the logic is sitting right. You know the you know what are the black rabbit and yellow black path. You know what is the uh, uh, day officer. You can take your own reference, find out the tongkong for yourself on that day. Uh, then is that a yang kong day? Is that a personal breaker day? And then if you can, if you know if you know how to find out all these stars, uh, nobility manifestation, health, wealth, relationship on the general nobleman hours, you can self sustain really. Then you don't need this calendar. But for friends who want a simpler way, tell me, is this day good enough? Just tell me, yes or no, good enough or not. Then very simple. This person, Sparzi, I look at the seven. Today's a seven. Ma. It's seven. Whoa. Seven down here, 11. Whoa. That means not bad. Ah, then this person can do exactly all the styles on that back facing in that hour. And you're done. So usually, uh, usually in a date selection, there are only two approach. To approach uh, on a personalized date selection. Personal, okay, we talk about general date selection, we talk about personalized date selection. Now, on the personalized date selection, there are only two approach, like it or not. Okay, the first approach is I need I want to do something. Huh, when is the good timing day to do this? Uh? Uh, that's the first approach. That means you have something in mind you want to do. Which day is good enough? The second approach is, Hi, uh, Marcus, this is so and so company. You are arranged for an interview with my boss on the 10th of January. Can you make it? Uh, maybe you still got a choice. Uh, but if you say, uh, my boss is only free on the 10th of January. Uh, are you available? If I got no choice, I have to take it, right? So 10th January will be the day. That's the second example. You are tasked to do something. You cannot choose the date. Like it or not. But you need to see what are the good stars for the day at least. So usually for personalized, there are two approach. The first one is you can choose the day for the action, which is the best day. The second one is you cannot choose the day for the action. L, L, I'll call it again. Uh, then what else can you still make it right for the day so that you're erring on the safer better side, favorable side for the whole equation. With me so far? Yes. Huh? So now, <clears throat> if that is the case, then it is, it, that's easy to zoom down already. Because whether you got this calendar or not, you must have this mindset. If you don't have this mindset, you are quite screwed for this selection. Huh? <laughs> There's no third option, right? Uh -huh. So now, if you don't know what you want, then too bad. Okay, that's, That is not even, the, not even in the equation. So now, assuming, assuming uh, you can choose a day, let's say, uh, oh, I want to meet up this client next week for this presentation, which I've prepared for so long. I've engaged with him for so long. I want to meet next week to push it to the next level. Uh, that's the, a, the first option. Uh. You have something that you want to do, find a date. Or maybe I want to do a presentation next month uh, or in the next two weeks, which is the best day. Uh? Uh, uh, that is also one of the options. Or I need to do a, a board presentation uh, online. So which day should I be choosing? Uh, uh, that means you have something you want to do, find a good day. If that's the case, uh, okay, then it'll be easy. Now, it should go in this way. Okay, it should go in this way. The way to do it uh, in the date selection is usually this. If you have this calendar, it'll be easier. Now, what it says is this. Uh, let's say I need to do a presentation in the next two weeks' time before Chinese New Year. Okay, Chinese New Year is on when? Uh? 22nd, right? Yeah, of January. So that means anytime from now until end of before Chinese New Year, I need to do this presentation where the people are still around. Mm. So now it's here. So let's say today's a seven. Seven is out. Uh. Today is two rush. So out. Uh, hey, I got the highest score on the 15. I got a 10. 
oh no, 15 and 17. Alternatively, I can still consider 16, 12, 11. So I got uh, two very good days. If not, I got three other not, not bad days. Then you can choose already. Very simple, right? High score day. Ah, then if for the high score day, then you probably need to see ah, how to choose a ah, high score enough. Not man. But if you want to have more depth, ah, maybe who knows the high score day, this got very all the lousy stars, <laughs> then you need to reconsider. So let's say on a 15, on the 15 is actually this day, on the 17 is actually this day. Hey, you can't use a 15 because 15 is a week. And correct now, yeah. I can't do presentation for my work on the Sunday. Ah, yeah, that's 15 gone. That's called practical, practical day selection, right? <laughs> so now I only left with the Monday or Tuesday. Uh, this Sunday, Saturday, Friday. So eight is what? Eight is a Thursday, huh? Uh, 11 is what? Uh? 11, 11, let me, let me see. Uh? 11 is a what day? 11 is a Wednesday. So Wednesday, Thursday, or Monday and Tuesday seems to be a bit more practical. Correct or not? So you cannot choose a high score day, life goes on law. You can't just be throwing tantrums and say, no, I won't, I won't, I won't get my guys to come on a Sunday to work. Okay. So practical. So now your high score remaining Wednesday, Thursday, Monday, and Tuesday. Then how it goes is this. On the 11, you should start to see things like this. Huh? On the 11, on the 12, on the 16, on the 17, you're trying to choose the best day of these four days for that event that you want to do with a team. So now, with this, hey, I, there's no sun here. Uh, Jade Hall is good. Good for what? Listen to my telegram. Uh, hey, Green Dragon is good. Whoa. Good for what? Listen to my telegram. Green Dragon is very good when you are proven good in something. You do it on that day, you are amplifying the positiveness. I'm not saying the path will be all smooth sailing, but at least you amplify what is good for you to move that one step ahead. And, and Bright Hall, ah, these three are good. So if these three are good, ah, then this one, bye-bye already. Lor. 12th of January, gone. Ah, then if you see, hey, I got a open day, I got a stable day, I got a harvest day. Hmm, but this is grey for Tongkong. This is pink. This is red. So maybe I'll choose this two day as preference. Okay, as preference. So now 16 and 17 is the remaining of the four that we initially start off with for you to choose the good day to do something, right? Then you can start looking down on the 16 and 17. Uh, so this will be the one and this will be the one. Any good stars are there? Any good stars are there? So you see, oh yeah, nothing, 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 nothing. Until you come down here, you see that they, on the 16th, you actually got this stuff about property investment. Hey, sorry, you're presenting about a uh, product launcher. So not very relevant, uh, cannot use. Uh. Then this day, on the, you got actually a culinary. Ah, ah, culinary. That means when you are doing some presentation on the 17th, right? You got culinary star. Culinary style means what? Uh, look at my telegram, you know. Uh, if you are doing something through a meal, through something that's through food, enjoyment of fruit, of food, sorry, and the context of a good ambience restaurant or inviting your clients to a, a place where he really loves the food that he missed. He has been looking for this particular dish for so long since his childhood. And you managed to find this restaurant which are good in serving this. You invite your customers to this setup and engage him, ah, same, okay, culinary star. Then you can see what are the good stars down here. Hey, you also got stars that say, hey, plan for well on the 16th. You got stars that says uh, well and title. So on that day, you will find that some of the stars are good on the 16th. Some of the stars are not so good on the 16th. So these stars on the 16th is not so good. It's called procrastination. So means, what to say? End of the day, you'll find what are the stars available for the day that's in sync with you <coughs> based on your shen sha. And that star sits strong. So what you can do is if you end up choosing 16, which is this column, 16, 
what you can do is this 16, you can go to environment where there are, uh, you, you, no, no, you can, you need to do one thing, that's avoid procrastination. Ah, uh, yes, no, uh, yes, no, uh, yeah, uh, let's delay a bit. Uh. Avoid procrastination, you will avoid the, the negative aspect of the star. So whatever you're planning, make it very near term, make it able to proceed in that near timeline, schedule, commit to schedule, schedule to commit, so that you're able to move this faster one step ahead. And you got a star that's plan for well. So, so that's how, and you also got a star that say mingle around. Mingle around, plan for wealth, avoid procrastination. Ah, then you have an idea what to do for that day, that event that you want to do. And if it's about really you want to seek their help, then you'll be at back facing east for that day. And in this hour, which is the best, is 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. if you choose 16 of January. Because it's the based on the approach that we have just now. No? Now, if you think, ah, I want 17. Then you see what is the 17 stars that is good because the Tong Kong is good for 17. And the, and the 17 says you can actually consider culinary. That means go to a good setup environment where you can actually plan for influencing the guy to get him to do what you want him to do. And 17 also got hey, no other good stars. You got one grade, two grade, three grade. Okay, one grade, two grade, three grade. And this what this one gray says suspicious. This one gray says contract challenges. This one gray says it returns. So now, if 17 got so many negative stars, then my inclination would be I'll go for the 16 already. Got it? So far, are you with me? So this is a very easy way to actually decide. And this will all be in PDF format. Every month you will have this one copy. So this is a month of January, one copy. February, one page. March, one page. So, so on and so forth for the many pages. So end of the day, you will have a skill set of which day to choose for your events. And if you, got, if you want to do something in particular, you got five days to choose which is the preferred of the five days based on the positive stars based on what you are doing that you are positive with, more confident with, that you are proven effective with, that is the day. Then that day, you also need to be able to know which direction to tap based on which stars you want to tap and the nobleman hours. Nobleman hours generally are good when you are able to want to get things resolved, get things overcome, to find answers for your uh, for your issues, to find answers for your challenges, to find answers for the problem you are facing with. Then nobleman hours are good. And alternatively, you may be able to find somebody that whether you love or you hate, he can push you or kick your butt to lead you to a direction that you can resolve your issue. Okay, so these are good for nobleman hours. That's why I actually use this as part of the date selection. And if you know how to find the moment hours, go ahead. Okay, if you think you want an easier every one page in a PDF, you can put it in your phone so that every time and now and then you can choose. Yeah, go ahead. So this is meant to be able to be put as a PDF format one month for one month for that one month content in that one page. You're able to select days. Lo. Okay, so now that means to say you have a holistic approach on selecting. Now, you see, uh, one more thing, one more example. Uh, I think I choose another example. Uh, okay, if, for example, you are choosing a date, you are choosing a date, then you end up, uh, you are only able to choose these two days for your options. Let's say to... to uh, do a presentation to your team members on something new, okay? Then 11 and 12, then you are choosing 11 and 12, for example. Then when you select, 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 uh, you become very confused. Hey, uh, oh, uh, not badly. I got these good stars down here on the 11. Uh, then I got also these uh, good stars here on the 12. How, huh? Uh, if that's the case, right, one of the easier way. And if you end up choosing, oh, it's really a neck-to-neck -neck fight. Which two days are really good. Then you can consider doing this. You can apply this in your skill set for date selection also. That is, 
you look at the day pillar, this two day is actually the earth snake and the metal horse. If these two days prove to be good, neck to neck, can choose. I still want to be anal enough to know which is the better of the two. Now, then look at here. Earth snake, metal horse, which is better? Earth snake, ah yeah, unfavorable. Metal horse, metal, ah yeah, still unfavorable. If you end up this kind of scenario, then you'll be back to the drawing board. But if you, if you, if let's say, if let's say it's a, you are choosing, you are choosing uh, between, let's say, uh, 11. You are tasked to do something. So it's either the 11 or the 29, for example. So if the 11 of January is a earth snake, 29 of January is actually a fire pig. Ah, earth snake or fire pig, which one to choose? Fire pig, fire is favorable. Earth snake, Earth is unfavorable. Then the fire being favorable is your preferred choice. Okay, the stem. The stem only, uh, the stem only. Uh, uh. Okay, so that's another way of looking how you can actually choose a date selection. Okay, so as to, if you are torn between between two, then you can do it, then you don't know which is the one. Okay, it's an additional dimension. Definitely, for the case where you can't choose anything, for example, your boss asks you, hey, Marcus, uh, I want you to actually uh, visit the site and talk to the workers to find out what's the issue down there. Go and find out the issue down there. And your boss asks you to do it on the, uh, let's say on the 18th of January. 18. Oh, you're John Kwai, 18 is minus six. You can call your boss and say, boss, that day is a lousy day. I don't want to do. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't suggest you to do that. Okay. But if the day is tasked to you, you cannot choose how life move on, ma, correct? No. If the sun is hot, how you complain to the sun that's so hot? No, la, you you try to wear light, airy, dry feet, or stay at the aircon room, low, correct? No. <laughs> so when you are tasked to do something that you cannot change, you move on, but you still see what else is good down there that you can do, that you are, uh, that you are able to write on that side of the curve. So 18th of January, how? Let's look at 18. 18th of January, you got a wood star, you got a punish, closed door, oh yeah, Tong, and Tong Kong is unfavorable, nothing is there. Hey, how? 18, I, at least I got a red here, I got a pink here, let's go down further. Uh, I got a red here, A, actually not that bad. Uh, and then A, I got a pink here, and then I got a gray. So that day in generic, you got more good stars. Now, then you choose which are the good stars that you can relevantly use. So now let's take a look. Uh, what are the good stars that you can relevantly use? Okay, so I need to clean all this so that it's less messy. So on the 18, right? On the 18, you have a recognition star. You have a benevolent star. You have a you have a well entitled star. You have a charisma star. You probably have also a fast connection star. Okay. <laughs> now, what does that mean? Okay. On that day, your boss tasks you to go to the site to find out what's the issue. You got a recognition and a benevolence. That means what? Benevolence here is you should try to be understanding to a situation. Don't go there and poke people and say, you should be doing this. You should not be doing this. No, that's not the way. Be more benevolent. Be having a bigger heart to understand, to listen first. Okay? Listen first and recognize what is the issue and being able to identify what are the actual issues from the noises. And then from there, you are able to, to, to play your role well 
in order to write onto the wealth and title, you are assigned like an ambassador to go there to find out what. To play your role well, being understanding is the key and being able to recognize, let them know why are you there and what you can do to recognize their problem and then do it with charisma. If you don't know what is charisma, you go and find for yourself. If your life, if you're having no charisma, that's harder. Lah. But if, you do, if you're able to engage in a style that is engaging, that you're able to, to have good exchanges, leave a good impression, ah, good first impression last. If you sit wrong on the first impression, you need a lot of time to figure out how to patch the nonsense down the road. Okay, fast connection means what? Fast connection down here, typically down here, it means what? Oh, you. So on the you don't try to pay too much attention to the pretty lady and then try to be funny. Okay. And or try to have those short flings when you're doing something like that. Okay. Be professional. At the same time, when you're connecting, don't be too fast in. One minute, tell me what's wrong. One minute, tell me what's wrong. One minute, tell me what's wrong. It's too fast. Dive in deeper so that the engaging the connection is more dive in, seated, rooted properly. Uh, it's the way to go. So now you know that on that day, despite that it is a minus six given to you, you are tasked to do something. You need to see what are the remaining that you can still do. Do what you can still do to find the good stars. And then from there, you engage the stars that are present for the day for you, personalized, so that you are doing the good part more. You are avoiding the negating stars, what they are known for then you are also riding on the higher side of the whole ways. If so far, what you, you get what I'm saying, type a yes. Okay. So, so there are so many different shansha here. You know, there are, okay, in the historical text, okay, in the historical text, there are more than few hundred of shansha. I summarize it down here, the typical for you, so that you're able in Chinese and in English so that you know. And this group are uh, for the self, and this group are for the well, career and wealth. This group are for the social. So now you have a holistic approach of the generic stars. If it's there, it'd be good supporting uh, your personal score. Choose those high score if you can choose. Cannot, you can still go down and see what are the stars available. For every day, you will have the general directions back facing to do and the general hours. Ah, so on the 16, right? If I were to resolve problem, either pe people resolve your problem, you help them to help you to resolve the problem. It has a lot to do with nobility, right? Nobility. So on that day, be back facing Southwest. Hey, hi everybody. I, I, Marcus, come. Uh, I'm actually tasked by the HQ to come here and understand. Do it with charisma, back facing, back facing southwest. And you can prefer to do it. It's hard to do it at 9 p.m. to 11 p.m., right? If it's on site, unless you are like Singapore engaging with Europe, uh, then maybe it's easier because it's six hours behind. Man. The Singapore time is still at night, Europe is in the afternoon. Man. Uh, then Singapore time, 9 p.m. to 11, uh, you can make an on online conference call. Or if you're going to the on site, in your country, local time, then try to do it at 5 to 7 p.m. law as a preferred. If you cannot, live move on. At least you do the stars. If you can, better still, 5 to 7 p.m., better still, back facing southwest. So this is a day chart. A day chart where you know how to select based on the event or you can't choose the day based on that day, what else you can still do. So there are many tiers to it really many layers to it. So in this <coughs> shansha, right, there are so many shansha down here that is really good. Okay, I, I, will, I will go through a few. Okay, I can't go through everything, uh, but it is quite straightforward. Okay, it's quite straightforward down here. Okay, for example, if you see about receiving help and support, it means you get received, you, you, you will get help and support on that day that starts with that. So you must let your intention be known so that people know what you are up to. If they buy your idea, they will consider you are their style, you are their cup of tea, they will kind of help you know. Okay. Serving others is means you need to help others first before you expect a return. Okay. Be able to serve. You are in a position to give, to, to give, to offer, to serve, 
then you're like a service leader. Then you should do more on that day. Happiness style means try to do things which can make yourself happy on the day in your own style that sits right with others better still. Okay. Happiness stars are also good for gathering. So scholarly advancement, it means on that day, if you're trying to apply for some scholarship, you're applying for some things uh, less about studies, about academic, uh, that you want to advance, yeah, or you want to learn something on that day to upgrade, to upgrade, to move ahead in, in, in your learning, uh, that's a good day. Bouncing back means you are at the rock bottom. You're trying to find a time to come back to, 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 to gain that, that stability, come back to gain that that uh that that positiveness come back because you're at the low end of the whole curve you want to gain back your 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 whole footings are ah, then this is a good day resolving issues straightforward recognitions means you want to be seen to be heard to be understood by people important people are ah, recognition day is a good day overcoming means trying to overcome challenges issues that this one you probably need some guts need some courage need some stamina lah. but all overcoming needs that anyway it's not that <laughs> it's just that you're doing on overcoming day it has an extra uh, advantage over uh, overcoming the situation now you benevolence means being understanding with people and try to uh, have more compassionate and to, while resolving their issues Okay, listen first before you give answers. Leadership role is stepping up, stepping up on your on what you are doing, step up or else you'll be shipped out. So it, it'll be time where you'll be uncomfort doing things that you may not really know is okay. You need to be in the game to play the game to be able to win the game. You don't need all answers, but you step up, lead, guide. Okay. Proactive action means get out of comfort zone, straightforward. Courage means when you are usually fearful of certain stuff, you can actually try to come in. Uh, and, and do stuff which allows you to move that one step ahead, that, that out of the comfort zone, one step out, so that you're able to gain enough momentum for courage. Okay, Win for means opportunistic. Doing something that you're testing the ground. Of course, you must do this with an idea of uh, uh, doing your calculated risk. Doing a calculated risk so that when you're doing uh, something that's windfall, like maybe buying 4D, uh, Toto, all this, uh, uh, then it's good. Okay. So you will have certain types of windfall down here where you uh, hopefully it's a day where you can bet on something. Usually this is heavily more reliant on your karma, your merits, or the good things you have done before that as foundation. Okay. So testing limits opportunity. Strategize very straightforward, strategy related, okay? But to plan in order to, to, to have a strategy or a plan of action so that you can overcome the situation. Uh, being team leader means you're able to acquire people on, on the left, on your right, gather the team, gather stakeholders so that you become a leader and you're able to do what you need with their presence. Uh, be an apprentice is very, uh, very easy. So you can actually find some mentor or somebody that you'll be the apprentice to learn something or, or at least tap their knowledge, okay? Don't need to like, wow, must be three in sense. Hey, can you be my master? Don't need that. Uh. You've got somebody who knows something, you want to tap into them. This is a good day where you squeeze some juice out from them. <laughs> and I can go on and on and on, okay? So easily I cover a few many already. Am I going too fast? There are many, uh, many of these down here, okay? So there are many stars down here which you can actually consider using. So if you are one of those friends, uh, definitely it'll be very useful for you. Uh, if you think these are, because different stars will exist at a different time of the day. If you see issues like sudden loss, uh, then you need to watch out on things which are like uh, suddenly you lose money, suddenly you lose a project, suddenly you lose something. <laughs> if you think that is really sitting near in your actual life and you see that stars on that day, then you need to see what are the things you need to do to reinforce the situation. If you can choose a date, try to avoid this kind of date also. Lah. So it's a lot of time, the issues in your life, which task sits closest to that issue on that event that you want to do for that day, do the good one, avoid the negating ones. So if you see blood that day, try not to do events which are reckless or dangerous or a bit too adventurous for you. Don't go and do bungee or, or drive a, a car at 200 km per hour when you see things like blood down here, la, or litigations, okay, uh, or, or loss, okay, or injury, okay. So, so these are the many stars that you can still avoid. And you saw the example just now, procrastination, procrastination, sign is there. So that they do things in a manner that with plan, calculated risk, and good planning, 
don't delay for too long. Don't try to, your customer ask you, so this and this and this, so are you okay with the offer? Mm, let me think, huh? Uh, think, 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 think for five minutes. You wait a while, huh? I call my boss, huh? And you call your boss, say la, <laughs> die like that. So don't, don't give the impression that you are procrastinating, you got second thoughts. When you know what you're doing, be swift, be sharp, move, okay? Of course, you must be able to do your own calculated risk in that moment. Nah. If you are not trained that, then that's part of the whole equation that you are playing procrastination card. Avoid it. Okay, so far, all this become very... Uh, become very easy for you. Now, if you see a red color, that means these stars are, are, are the preferred strong. If it's there, good. If you see a pink color, it'll be one tier down. If you see a gray color, it will be not good for that star. If you see a dark gray, these stars are actually quite strong. <laughs> if you can uh, play it well, do avoid doing what the negative stars are known for is the keyword. I repeat, avoid doing what the negative stars are known for. If you see procrastinate, uh, you see this one is procrastination. Try not to procrastinate in important aspects of your discussion. It's the, just, you just need to do that. That's all. All right. You don't need to always avoid the negative star. There's no chance to avoid, okay? If I go to the forest, I cannot avoid mosquito from biting me also, right? But I need to, I can play well by applying right, wear right, and, and also, also gear correctly. Correct or not? That's the way to go. Okay. So far, are you all learning something? Any questions so far, you can ask me. So this is how it looks like for a one pager for the whole Baozhi calendar. Are you learning something? Type a yes, give me love and like if you are. So anyway, if you know how to find Shen Sha for your own self, you can do this without my calendar. No problem. Okay. So at least you know, you learn something. Uh, for those friends who are like, uh, can, can, can you help me save my time finding stars here and there? Uh, then this will be an option for you to consider. Okay. I've, been, I've launched this last year and this year I make some modifications uh, and so that it is useful for friends who still want it this year. So this calendar, it is priced at the price. Every day you are literally spending that couple of a few, maybe a couple of cents, 50 cents a day. But with the, we are avoiding the price of ignorance, which can cost more. Okay, it's very affordable. So if you want, do consider, go to my telegram there, you will know where to purchase it. Okay, so... Any questions on this calendar is best to ask now. I might have missed some of your questions. Please repost the question if I have missed some of your questions. Okay. Every it's very normal that every day you have positive and negative stars. <laughs> it's just that life doesn't stop there, right? Uh, you hear good news, you hear bad news every day from Channel News Asia. <laughs> so, so it's really about how we deal with it. How we should be positioned to deal with it is a key. Correct? Okay. Any questions? Please ask now. If there's no question, I'll move on. Okay. Uh, if 7K is your favorable star, notice a lot of my super low score is 7K. Please advise. Yeah. So if 7K is actually your favorable, uh, you can actually, it doesn't stop still. Because this, comes, this calendar comes from one particular aspect that is, choosing based on the good days that works for you. So if you are playing right on the good days, you are planting the seed right on the days where it is having higher chance, fertile moment for you. Now, 7K also, if it's favorable, it just means that you need to learn one art in life, okay? One art in life that is, number one, choose your battle. Not every battle you must go and fight. Choose your battles. Don't be so anal over your principles. Don't be so anal over your belief system. Don't be so anal over what defines loyalty in your aspect. Once you're able to do that, choose your battles, convert pressure into motivation to push you ahead, then you are pretty much charging ahead in the uh, uh, positive note already. Okay? All right, any other question? Now's the best time to ask. <laughs> okay, seriously. No question, then I'll move on to the next section already.
Any questions? Okay, no question. Hope that this puzzle calendar is useful for those friends who purchase and it's useful for those friends who didn't purchase, but at least through this session, you gather, you learn the art of the selection. And you know that I, 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 I sometimes usually in my session, I do like to talk and talk and talk, 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 talk and then after that, uh, you learn nothing. So today, do you all learn something? Or not? Type a yes if you manage to learn something so that I can give you more values now in my next part of the session. Type a yes if you learn something, okay? I'm not, asking, I'm not selling you a calendar now. I'm teaching you date selection. And for those who purchase, yes, you will learn this. Anyway, you already know how to use this. For those who didn't purchase, at least you know, right? Type a yes if you learn something. So you got more than 365 days huh, for those who have purchased. Okay, good. For those low luck days, the way to improve is you play well on the red stars. You avoid doing actions which are in sync to the bad stars. I see that already. Okay? Okay. So now with that, hope that this calendar is useful. Okay? This score... This score is one of the best things that you can have uh, so that you can be able to fully optimize and straight away see when is the high score. Do your what you are best known for on the high score. Now, being in the high score, it doesn't... Uh, this is based on the budget alone. Uh. Maybe on that day that nemesis come and stir you shit. Maybe on that day, uh, uh, due to some feng shui things, it crash onto you. Uh, that will be another dimension. So you need to be able to gather as many of the good stuff as you can so that you can handle those additional perspective of bad stuff coming. Huh? Maybe your boss clash you. Maybe that manager curse you. And, uh, so that's why if you're able to choose a high score date, you're able to tahan, tali, bounce it back stronger. If you don't know which are the high score date and that comes, maybe you, you, maybe you, you will be easily succumbed by them eaten up by them. So, but that doesn't mean that when you're choosing high score days, you can withstand, uh, it, it's going to be a bit more dynamic. You can need to bounce them off, get them out while they come and disturb you. But with a high score day, you are able to handle it better. Okay? That's why it's important, it's important that you're able to handle things on high score day so as to be able to gain your footings and advance one step ahead. Okay? Alright. So, that's so much for the Date selection and for this context, Pazi personalized Pazi calendar using Shensha. So, um, for those friends who have got another aspect of my calendar, congratulations! You will also have this one. This is known to be the Shensha for the year. Shensha for the year. So, in this session, I'll be covering about the Shensha for the year. So, for those friends with this table. Okay, because this one usually uh I will yeah, you know you want to purchase, I have no issues. Uh, you want purchase, but but if you manage to get the bonus, then good lah. Okay, bonus ended lah already, yeah. Bonus ended already, yeah. Okay. So what it says is this now year, year, month, day, hour. Year, month, day, hour will end up with these four pillar. The first pillar is the our pillar. Usually when we're talking about our pillar, it, re it relates to your parents, your health, your company, your home, and your social. When we talk about month pillar, it, re it relates to your career where you are making tangible or non-tangible returns. You are your business, your wealth, your siblings, your friends, your colleagues, and your peers. When we talk about Day pillar, it usually reflects about your spouse or your perspective or your essence on the context of relationships. Personal. When you talk about the hour, it usually talks about the offsprings, the, the, your subordinates or then your customers that you're engaging with outside your clients. So end of the day, year, Monday, hour relates to these four groups of people. And with these four groups of people, you are able to, on the year, on the year of 
this table, which is 2023, Kui Mao. And this one starts on the 4th of February, usually. Okay. And for until the next year, okay, for the next 365 days. So this table will be for that period. And in this table, you will be able to see the Shen Sha that sits with your pillar, your own Ba Zhi. Okay. What we covered just now was for the day selection to see what days works for you. This one sits with you for that one year. <coughs> okay. So if you want to know which of your pillar are the strongest or the weakest, right? If you want to know which pillar are your strongest or your weakest, right? Now, you need to see very easily. See, let's say this year pillar, you have a plus, two minus, two minus, two minus, two minus, one minus, one minus. <laughs> You'll be able to know that straightforward. This year pillar, not very strong for you already. Correct or not? Straightforward, right? Uh, so then, at least, at least, the good thing is reduction. Uh. There's a reduction stars. Reduction stars that says, uh, anything that is good is reduced by half. Anything that's bad also reduced by half. So, but, but with so many negative stars, you need to watch out and plan ahead for the year for yourself. Let's say for this particular person, for this particular person, he needs to plan ahead certain things so that, and he needs to see what sits closest to him. What sits closest to him in their particular life is the key. You cannot just see the stars and you, you, you predict what's going to happen and what's not. No. You need to see what is very closest to you in your life to be able to decipher the opportunity of it happening in your life. Let's say, example, uh, my touch wood, uh, example, uh, this person, the parents has been always falling sick or the parents got a uh, 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 stage, stage four cancer. Uh, then you see which stars concern the most are parents. And this star says about big loss. This star says about, says about injury. This star says about obstacle. So there are a lot of negative stars that are, can be correlated to parents. It may be company also. So you need to play well. So what you can do with big changes is sometimes people don't like big changes. So what you can do if in this particular example, spend more time with your parents and whether whatever has happened, good or bad, you spend more time with them to create good memories so that you will say, if only I know, you knew now that this star is lying and you got this situation that's very close that when it comes together, you must well play well ahead. You are gaining the foresight, the advanced forecast of possibility of things to happen. You're going to play well now so that when things happen or don't happen, you are in a better shape. That's how you look at Shen Sha for this particular aspect so that you, you move on happy or happier. Okay, so for example, uh, your company, your company has been in bad shape for the last two years because of COVID. And then you are seeing under the year pillar company that says, ah, reduction, ah, obstacle, big changes, big loss. Then you need to probably start to, it's best for you to look for a job when you have a job. Then maybe you you will need to start to network around, update and look for a job while you are still in your current role so that you, you play it relevantly well and you are buying a time advancement of doing the right stuff a few months ahead because big changes, okay? So you initiate a change and when you see big changes, right? The suggestion is given to you. And there's a column that says action to take. Because if you know the start is there, you don't know what to do, <laughs> then so what? So when you see a big change, right? It, actually, I say, state it down for you. That says, uh, you should initiate a change based on, based on what you would rather, you want rather than driven by circumstances. So that's why I said, if you know that company is in bad shape, in the rabbit year, you got a big change. You might as well do something now, initiate yourself rather than you wait for things to happen. You'd rather spend time, energy, effort doing stuff that you've initiated 
rather than spending time, energy, effort handling stuff that's being thrown to you. Correct or not? You're happier off for the first choice. So changes depends on the pillars in the chart. So now, these changes down here is to people, I actually put negative is because it's going to, it's going to probably uh, consume up a, quite a lot of your time, energy, attention, money, effort, resources. So if you played it well ahead, it would be riding on a higher tide. If you are caught by surprise on hindsight, then you react, then too bad. You are playing by reaction, not proactiveness. <laughs> so that's the reason why having this in advance notice helps you. But the key thing is you must see your situation, what sits closest to the stars that's coming in for the year. Ah, then you align that and you play it well. It's the key. Okay, I say it second time already. Huh? Okay. So now if you are if you know that, let's say home, hey, you intend to actually you intend to buy a house in the year of the rabbit. And since you intend to buy a house, okay, so it's considered big changes. You initiate, okay, happy. So and, and it's a big loss because you can spend a lot of money buying the house. So you convert the you 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 will spend money money in a positive manner because it's spending on the aspect that you want it, you're buying a house. Okay, so it's a spend three star, but you 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 spend, you know it already. So okay, good. So what you need to do is really about being more careful over uh, uh reduction. That means whatever that's being thrown to you that sounds good, actually it's lesser than that. That's all. All right now. So it's really about the stars. It's even more about how you play along with the stars. It's the key. Okay. So if you know tomorrow's weather is bad, you just have to carry a broly or plan your route. If you know that you're having a wedding dinner tomorrow at open space and it's going to rain, then at least you have the time now in advance to plan ahead so that you can mitigate all the hard landings coming forth. Isn't that the whole deal? Okay. So you will be able to know that for year, month, day, hour, you are able to play it well. Now, you see, if you want to know huh, which pillar of mine would be the best that I can bet on, then you see, uh, then you look at this table, if you have this table, on the Shensha, you see which is a pillar that you can bet on. For those friends who don't have this table, you can also do it yourself, knowing what are the stars available that are good or not good. And then let's say, for example, this particular case, uh, this particular case, this guy, I already straight away know that his day pillar has more positive star. Why? I got one plus down here that's about asset. I got one plus down here that says about mentoring. Mentoring means it's really good if you, are, if you are looking for teachers, good teachers in life. And then also good when you're trying to do stuff which are trying to uh, uh, take action to make sure that your, your assets are appreciating, your stocks, your antiques, items that you bought over, your Chanel, your hey mess, hey miss, uh, don't know what, uh, hey mess, hey mess, oh my gosh, hey mess handbag, uh, appreciating. Okay, uh. so, so the only thing is probably a, uh, Try to take extra care when you're doing stuff in the environment that are like heavy metals or if your friend is driving at 200 kilometers per hour, you slap him and say, no, I, I won't get up. Okay. Ah, injury, be careful. Okay. It's a, good, it's a good year to resolve or problem solving for yourself and also progressing up. Progressing up in terms of status, progressing up in terms of your, your level your designation, your social status, and also being a team leader. And you, when you're trying to be creative, you will be usually having a higher chance to be seen in a more positive light. Long story short, a lot more positive stars. So, and the positive stars are straight away sitting at where? Sitting at the pillar. So, either when, because of just down this scenario, the, comp, the, the, the year pillar is bad, so if the year pillar is really that bad, then you need to bet on the good pillar more for the year in order to play stronger for the year. You know what I'm saying? Huh? 
So you need to, I repeat, uh, it's just like you got A boss, B boss, C boss, right? A, B, A, B, C boss. Which one to bet on uh, so that you can write higher, faster in your career? If you need to bet on one, right? <laughs> if you bet wrongly, too bad. Now, for this case, it's very clear cut that the career is not good. I also can see that uh, the, uh, the, the hour pillar not good. I also can see uh, the, the, the month pillar, okay, so-so. But the, the day pillar is really strong. So what he can do is this. If this person is married, then he got spouse, man. Uh, then he, he or she can make use of the spouse to write faster, higher, smoother for the year. Got it? Important. Huh? If you've got a very strong day pillar among the four pillars in your chart in the year of the rabbit for this particular case, so many plus, huh? it's better that you bet more on your spouse or your personal development in order to move faster, higher, higher ways for the whole year. And doing stuff which are in sync to problem solving, resolving issue, look for a mentor and play well, do your risk calculation and look for things to be properly invest through right mentoring. At the same time, uh, try to improve your status upwards, whether socially or with your wife. Okay, so if you are not married, then it's harder. No spouse, man. Okay, so that means you need to really adore, spend more time positively, sayang your wife or your husband, and help them to help you. Isn't that straightforward? So in this whole table, you will be able to you will be able to find what are the things which are important and not important. So that you'll be able to, to see where to bet on, what activity sits the closest, and what to rely on. Understand? Or not? And I told you what are the actions to take is also written down here. So this is the purpose of the whole uh Shen Sha personalized annual table four. So with that, hope that it's been useful for you. Uh yeah, okay. Because this all these are are uh yeah, actually, for this one, I even spent more time. Before I even came out, I spent years fine-tuning all these things okay, on the, on the uh, personalized Shen Sha table. So now you have both things. The Shen Sha table, based on the birth chart, to know which audience to bet on or which activity sits closest to your situation. Do what is needed to be done so that you are running on higher side with advanced forecasting perspective. Then on the day selection down here, you are able to then do what? Select the good days for your day in, day out activities based on whether you can choose or you cannot choose. And this is personalized. And how to select, I've covered for you. And what to what stuff to look out for for the day, what approach, what to do to tap onto the good, what to avoid doing based on what the staff are known for, for the bad ones, I've told you. What direction to face and what are the nobleman hours. I've told you. Okay, so this tool will itself helps you a lot. For those friends who have placed your interest and already purchased the strategic hour calendar, which I launched, launched a couple of months back, that one is for the hour selection, personalized. Okay, so if you're able to know the year stars, the day, which day best to choose, that strategic hour is actually very good for which hour in any day is the best. Uh, okay, so it's really a more multi dimensional of by year, by day, by hour. If you have these two calendar, so what's some of your purchase of two? So the side is that you know, so that you know what you are in for, so that you're able to write. And I have friends who already got very positive results. I'll be putting a post a video on one of my friends who used the high score and he also don't know what's happening but actually he did something very right on the high score things are flowing so well for him that he also don't know what's happening but he's really amazed with the things that has happened on him i'll post it in my telegram on the on, on the youtube um, link for that okay so that you have roughly an idea how important are the high score 
Okay. Any questions so far? Okay. Any questions? Any questions? If you have, it's best to ask now or else I'll call it a day. <laughs> so, uh, one thing is really for sure, uh, I would have know that through today's session, you would be able to gather knowledge. Again, whether you purchase or not, time spent with me, I want to give value. I want to make sure that it is helpful to you. Okay. So, but if you are interested to purchase this calendar, do tell me. Let's make it this way. Uh, I'll be opening the offers again. So in the next two days or three days, I'll be putting the post in my telegram. If you, if you place the calendar, this departure calendar, okay, for the it will be for the next 365 days. I will throw into you this one. Okay. Throw into you this this Shen Shang year bonus for you. This is worth 88 Sing dollar. I'm going to throw it to you for free and purchase this one for the next 365 years, uh, 365 days. Okay, I'll throw it there for you if you sign up before my next ending date. Okay, so that anyway, I want to, your good is my good. I want to hear more good news from you. Okay, so do consider to sign up in the next two days to get the bonus. I especially extend it for you. And for friends who are interested to get the strategic hour calendar, which was launched a few months back, uh, with that, I'll give additional stuff. Okay. But anyway, uh, for today, let's think about this first. Any questions on the date selection? You can ask me now. Somebody asked if you are not married, how to use this filler. It says also, right, regarding my spouse and own essence of relationship. It is how you handle relationship with the closest people around you, how you handle relationship and connection with people that are that are important to you is important. If in your life you are those, I will do things which I like. I have no spouse. I don't like to be with people. I'm a loner. Uh, then you can't tap onto this stuff. So. And whatever the sound here is harder for you because you can't rely on anybody that's close enough to tap onto it. Okay, I've answered the question. So you need to have a party. Okay, that's how in future, uh, if there's a chance, I would also want to share with you because there are so many ways to read the parts. Literally, there are more than six to seven ways to read the parts, way more. Okay, so and and what's the topic surrounds void? Void. Do you know how to handle a void? It's actually very straightforward. Okay. Yeah, you may be in, in entering into a void luck pillar, a void year, a void month. Then what? Your life will just stall down there, right? No, it will not. For you to handle void is you fill up the void. How to fill up? There are many ways. In future, if there's a chance, I will teach you, okay? So, <clears throat> one of the ways to fill up the void is actually do this thing. Huh? <laughs> okay. So any other question? Any other questions? So, okay. So, all right. Thank you for everybody. Hope that you've managed to learn a lot. Do give me some likes and shares. Visit my Telegram. If you want to know about the yellow and black path, what are they? Scroll back in my Telegram, okay? For those friends who are already in my Telegram, if you see friends asking these questions, help them to help me to answer them also, okay? Because there are so many things in my telegram, okay? And 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 there are a lot of values training topics inside. Before I remove them, uh, you better go and listen. <laughs> okay, all right. And for those friends who have purchased this calendar, thank you very much. Wait for my offers to post in the telegram and quickly grab it within the time frame so that I will throw you the bonus at the same time. The bonus, which is this personal shen sha for the year. And for those friends who have been supporting us, thank you very much. And it's been great to have you around. I've learned a lot from you. And really, really, your, uh, hearing a lot of good news from you has been my happiness and my satisfaction because seeing you happy makes me happy. So with this, uh, I do wish everybody a happy new year. 
happy great year in the coming year of the water rabbit and take care stay safe this is marcus from s metaphysics see you bye bye give me some love and likes bye